when you're brewing something as small as rooibos, you're not going to want to use a tea maker, at least not in our experience, because um, the leaves are so fine. So we have five ways to brew rooibos that aren't um, brewing it with a tea maker. And we're going to see which has the least amount of sediment. So we'll start with the Gaiwan because it is the quickest of them all. So I'm just going to let that sit. And we want to make sure that there are no sediment in the bottom already because that can lead to an unofficial brew status. All right, so, hmm. Here's what it looks like Gaiwan brewed. Um, not exactly no sediment. There is a lot of sediment at the bottom of this cup. I'm just going to do that so that I know that that's the one. Um, So yeah, the guy one probably not the best option for this one. And let's see. This is probably not going to be right, but this isn't for tasting purposes. This is just to see how much sediment. So with the tea press, you have pretty much no sediment at all, but a little bit of a lighter color. with the big fancy teapot that has a big fancy strainer, you also have little to no residue. Um, tea balls are about the same as Gaiwan, but tea balls just aren't really that helpful if you have a thin brew or a thin leaf anyway. So, at the bottom of this cup, which is the cup that we use with the big infuser, it does have a little bit of sediment. But the one that is made by, with the tea press has absolutely no sediment. So if you want the best cup of sediment-free tea, if at least if you're doing a small like rooibos, then you definitely want to try out a tea press or a pot with an infuser. Until I see you again, make sure to make time for tea in a good book.